ever wondered what makes a great game a great game? What makes it memorable? What makes you craving more? It could be anything, really. The story, the gameplay, the visuals, the sky's the limit here, folks. But for me, it's kind of hard to explain with words. So today, I'm going to be trying my best to explain it with words. This probably isn't going to be a good idea, is it? So, what could they be? Well, if you've read the title of the video, you may have a slight clue. The little things. Those quick little details are moments in video games that make you go... Oh, yes. <laughs> Jesus. But what per se are little things? What are they exactly? Don't know? Then let me show you some of my favorite examples. To start this off, let's take a look at one of my all-time favorite games on the Nintendo Wii. Punch Out! Or... Or the Wii. This game is the shit! You've got the dynamic duo over here. Little Mac and Doc Lewis. Hit him, baby! Fighting the roughest and toughest boxers the world has to offer. Now you may be small, or in this case, little, but that doesn't mean that they should count you out. For as you can see up here, you've got yourself a star meter, which builds up by countering your opponent's incoming attacks. Or in some cases, just using their stupidity against them. But when that some bitch fills up, Wait, Jesus! I absolutely love these star KOs. They reward you for your playing skills by giving you this awesome knockout scene. The best part is, however, that each fighter has their own special way of going down. A detail I wholeheartedly love. I don't know about you, but that's a pretty cool and satisfying detail. On the topic of satisfaction, we've got Metroid Fusion. Fusion was the very first Metroid game I ever played and beaten, and it was one excellent experience. One I've all hope you've had at least one point in your lives. But while exploring the vast BSL space station, and being hunted by the SAX is fun in its own right, the little thing I love about Fusion are the sound effects. More specifically, the missile explosions. Just have a listen to this little compilation I whipped up for you. Such wonderful destruction. Fusion's sound direction is so spot on in my opinion. That extra crunch, if you will, really makes the blasting enemies all the more enjoyable. Little details like this are what I'm really talking about. To wrap things up, let's talk about polish. When I think polish in video games, the first thing that comes to my mind is the Mario series. Mario games have a very special place in my heart, right here to be specific. Some of my favorite gaming experiences belong to this series, and I know that whenever I boot up one of these games, I'll be in for a very, very fun time. One of my favorite Mario games is, uh, oh crap, I forgot the nunchuck. Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah. Oh god, there are so many aspects of this game I'd just love to talk about today, but for now, I'm gonna stick with the visual aspect. Now I'm the type of guy to say, gimme gameplay over graphics any day of the week. I'd say most of us would say the same thing, but that doesn't mean I overlook the visuals in games, and really, I don't know how you could with Galaxy. This game is gorgeous, plain and simple. It still blows me away how Nintendo was able to create such a vibrant, colorful, and beautiful looking game on the Wii. The freaking Wii! For example, one of my all-time favorite little details about this game is how the water looks. Something as simple as that. But I mean, just look at it. The way it moves, the light glistening off the surface, just yes! yes. Like I previously said, the love and care that went into this game still astounds me to this day. It just goes to show how time, passion, and a little love for something can blossom into something beautiful. Video games are pretty fascinating to me. Not only can you enjoy the game as a whole, but you can also take pleasure in noticing the little things too. It's not always about the big picture. Sometimes you just need to take a step back and enjoy all the little wonders that are taking place around you. Before I go, I just want to say thank you all so very much for all the support last year. I love to entertain and I love to make people happy and 
I hope that through these videos I've been able to do that in some capacity. I don't know. But you guys really do mean the world to me, and I thank every single one of you for watching my videos. So to give back to you, I'm going to make 2017 a much better year for the channel and for content in general, I guess. But I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, thank you all again so much for watching, and I guess, as always, keep on keeping on. Take it easy, everyone. Until next time.